Good morning, 8am. I hope you had a really lovely half term and you're ready to get stuck back into some science. Now we are going to keep going today with our energy topic and the first thing that I'd like you to do is to take a new page and we're going to take today's date and today's title. Now our title for this lesson is Energy Transfers. And today's date, it's Tuesday, and we're on the 22nd of February. Now take your date and title nice and neatly. 23rd of February, my apologies. Now, as always, we underline our date and title nice and neatly. Now, if we are going to talk about energy transfers, we need to remember that there are nine types of energy. We covered these before half term, but we're going to start the lesson off by revising these nine. Now, attached to today's work, you've got this worksheet. You're going to need to print it off. If you've not got a printer, well, you can try to draw the pictures. Now, I'd like you to work a step ahead of me, so you can pause the video as you need to. We're going to work through these first three together, and then I'm going to let you pause the video and finish off the worksheet. Now, we're asked to look at each pair of pictures below and decide which form of energy they represent. Now, we've got to think of the nine that we covered way back on the 4th of February, and if you need to, page back in your exercise books to remind yourself. Now we've got the sun and a light bulb. Remember to pause so you're not seeing the answer. And then you can come back and see that the answer should be light. Again, the bonfire and a Bunsen burner. Remember to pause. And when you come back, you should see that the answer will be heat energy. Now a speeding bullet and a galloping horse. We're thinking of the type of energy and we only can use one of the nine that we've already learned. Well, this is gonna be movement or kinetic energy. Now I'd like you to pause the video, finish off your work nice and neatly, just below today's date and today's title. Now you'll notice that there is a number two in the worksheet. You're asked to look at each of the pictures in the table. Some of them give us more than one form of energy. Write down three examples in sentences like this. So the first one that we're going to copy into your notes is number one. The Bunsen burner gives off heat and light energy. So the Bunsen burner gives off heat and light energy. Now I want you to think of two more examples and write down a sentence for each of those examples. Now you're going to submit this work so that I can see your worksheets and I can see your sentences. Now that leads us on then to our energy transfers. Now I'd like you to write this sentence on the next page in your exercise books. So energy can be changed or transferred from one form into another. Now this is going to be really important for this lesson and we only can use the nine types of energy that we've already learned. So energy can be transferred or changed from one form into another. Let's look at a few examples. I've got a race car here or just an ordinary car. Now we need to think about the energy that this race car uses and the energy type then that this race car changes it into. Now that we know that cars run off petrol or diesel, so in that petrol or diesel there is stored chemical energy, so that's the energy in, that's the energy that the car will use. Then the car's energy will transfer this or change this into movement energy. Now it's important to realise that as well as movement energy, there will also be some sound energy 
and there will also be some heat energy produced by the engine. But movement is our main type of energy that our car transfers the chemical energy into. Now what I'd like you to do below where you last read down the sentence is I'd like you to draw a car and I'd like you to write in this energy transfer. And we're going to stick to the main energy transfer. So pause the video and draw in, take up about a quarter of your page to draw in this first energy transfer. And it would be really useful if we took a little title that says a car. Now if we look at another then, if we think about a light bulb. Now a light bulb, when we turn on our lights at home, the light bulb comes on. So when we flick the switch, electricity is travelling to the light bulb. This light bulb will transfer or change this electrical energy then into light energy. Now it's worth remembering that light bulbs heat up as well. So they will transfer some of the electrical energy into heat energy. But this light energy is the main one that it transfers the electrical energy into. It's the one it's the energy transfer that we want a light bulb to do. This heat energy, if it transferred some of the electricity into this, would be wasted energy because we don't want our light bulbs to heat up the room. We want the light bulb to give us light. Now we're going to draw this one as well. And like before, we'll take a title, but we're going to stick with the main useful energy transfer. So we've got a light bulb. Now I'd like you to take this title, pause the video and draw the light bulb and copy in the energy that goes in and the energy that comes out. Now you're it. Once you get this one copied in, I'd like you to put your pens down. We're going to look at a few more energy transfers, but I want you to listen and make sure that you understand. Now our next one is for a climber. Now this climber, when he's climbing up the rock face and it looks like quite a steep climb, he will be using the stored gravitational potential energy and as he climbs up and up, he will be converting this to movement energy. Now remember, he'll still have some gravitational potential energy stored because he's still above the surface of the Earth. Now another one that we would like to consider is this electrical heater. So when we plug this electrical heater in and turn on the switch, electricity will travel to the electrical heater. So it will change this electrical energy into heat energy. So the energy going into the appliance is electrical, but the energy coming out is heat. If we consider this solar panel on a plane, it's a bit odd, but the solar panels will take in light energy from the sun and then inside the solar panel, the energy transfer that goes on is light energy being transferred to electrical energy. And then this electrical energy can be used to power all sorts of different appliances. Now we've got a jack in the box here. So if you know what a jack-in-the-box is, it's an old-fashioned toy. When the lid is pushed down and it springs back up, something will jump out of that box, like a clown or a rabbit or something like that. So when the lid is on and the toy is squashed down, and remember that the toy will be on a spring, we have got elastic energy stored in this spring. Then when the lid is opened, well, the toy bounces out so the spring relaxes and it changes or transfers this elastic energy into movement energy. So there's a lot of energy transfers. Now folks that's your work done for Tuesday but what I want to do is to give you a sneak preview for Thursday. Now on Thursday you're going to do a little bit of a practical and the reason I'm giving you a sneak preview is so that you can gather up what you need. So you will need an empty two litre milk carton, 
It would be great if you could get some card, but if you don't have card, paper works just as well. And on Thursday, we are going to be making these rocket mice. So I'll be asking you to refer back to this video to look at these rocket mice. Now, when you make your rocket mice, you can see there from the steps on my screen that you're going to pop your rocket mice on top of the neck of the empty milk carton and then you are going to blast off your rocket mice. So hence the term rocket. But what I want you to do is I want you to take a little video of yourself blasting off the rocket mice but I would like on your video a little explanation of the energy transfer. So I want you to think of the energy that's going in to get the rocket mice moving and then when the rocket mice, mice does move up into the air, I want you to think of the energy that the rocket mice now has. So think of the energy going in. You'll have to use your hands, remember, to squash the milk carton. And then the energy out or the energy that the rocket mice has when it travels up through the air. Now, folks, I was looking back through had and I came across this video from a few years back when this year eight class had made the rocket mice. So I thought it would be a good idea for you to see because this is what you're going to do and you're going to record yourself, remember, with your explanation on Thursday. So watch this tiny video. Okay. 